You'll have had your tea, the doings of Hamish and Dougal. Today, the shooting party. Dougal! Hamish! Uh, you'll have had your tea. No, as a matter of fact. I can't get the top off this thermos flask that Mrs. Nochty left out. Oh, here. Let me give it a twist. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, Hamish. This is not a thermos. Not a thermos? No, no. What is it, then? Well, if you ask me, old friend, I'd say... A pie grater? <laughs> pie grater. Marital aid. Oh, well, if I can get the top off, I'll have a glass of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang I'm parched. <laughs> Hello, you two. It's the lad. Quick, hide that thing. Consider it hidden. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, James. Oh. What on earth are you doing with my Christmas present to Mrs. Nocte? Oh, uh, that, that, well, that was just our novelty thermos flask. Oh, <laughs> my mistake. Pity. I've got a pie here that badly needs grating. <laughs> Hey, Mayor. Yes! <laughs> you look full of the joys of spring. <laughs> you could say that. Now, I came up here to tell you I'm having a shoot this afternoon. <laughs> oh, too much information. <laughs> <laughs> the glorious 12th. Well, all in the one day. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried hard-boiled eggs? Yes, but I find them too easy to hit. Now, <laughs> look here. I fancy a bit of practice. Are you two at a loose end? <laughs> I should say so. Well, so, Dougal, you can load my gun. Gu oh, you mean shoot, like bang. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. And Hamish, you will release the clays on the command. Oh! Here's your gun, your lairdship. Very good, then. Oh! <laughs> They're not much of a challenge, these clay stags. <laughs> no. no, we said much the same about the clay salmon. Don't bother me with your problems, Paul! Oh. Oh, that's better. <laughs> but, you know, in a way, I'll miss it. <laughs> if I knew you were coming, I'd have boiled a neap. Boiled a neap, boiled a neap. If I knew... Ah, Mrs. Nochty, there you are. And where else would I be? Well, this is my bedroom. <laughs> the kitchen's full. I'm catering for the Laird shooting party. He's inviting all the smart folk up from London and a married couple from Milton Keynes. <laughs> so that's uh, how many altogether? About 2,000 all told. <laughs> And they'll be gagging for pies. And by the way, has anybody seen my pie grater? No. No matter, I could never see the point of it. Neither could I. Oh, well, you just look at the time. It's over there by the parsley. Oh, shames. Oh. No, it's, it's almost half past. Yes, we'd better get up to the moor for the afternoon slaughter. Good Goodbye. Uh, 
A grand day for it, your lordship. Yes, but unfortunately, we're stuck out here. Oh, look! <laughs> oh, look over there! Splendid, my smart guests from down south have arrived. Hello! Oh, 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 oh. Hello! Oh, hello! I say! Hello. All right, come on, you two. Stop taking the piss and go and greet them properly. <laughs> Sorry, your lordship. Now, listen up, people. Are you ready for some sport? Good! Google, over to you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and how are you today? I'm Dougal, and I will be your gilly. Kindly follow the piper to your shooting positions on the ridge. At 1,500 hours, the panzers will move in on the left flank, <laughs> while the airborne division lays down a covering barrage. Enjoy your day. Right, your lordship, everybody's in position. Come along, you two. You're not in Milton Keynes now. Hamish, commence beating. Hup. Oh, hup. boo! Hey, move along there, you grouses. Now, hup. look out. There's a lot of folk about with guns. Fly, fly for your lives. Oh. Away, away they go. That concludes the afternoon sports. Now, if you all line up in alphabetical order with your vouchers, Mrs. Nochte has prepared a delicious picnic. Yes, and as soon as I've eaten it, I'll be handing out the pies. <laughs> and I'm delighted you've all brought your own graters. Oh, well done, Mrs. Nochte. Oh, you must be fair, whack it. Sit your dune and take the weight off your bannocks. That I will. Oh, oh don't sit on that. <laughs> that's the clay pigeon launcher. Oh, no, that's all right. As long as nobody shouts, Paul! <laughs> Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! That includes you too, Milton Keynes. I didn't look. What happened? Oh, I don't believe it. As luck would have it, I've just found 50p in the bracken. <laughs> 50p? There'll be no speaking to you for a week. <laughs> but what happened to Mrs. Nochte? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't looking. There she goes, commencing her descent. Mrs. Nochte, if you get to the big hoose before us, put the kettle on. No sooner said that. Oh, thank God, the greenhouse broke her fall. Hurrah! I thought that'd never go. Well, Hamish, Dougal, cheers, uh, good health. Yeah, cheers. Bottoms up. Bottoms, oh, cheers. Up. Bottoms, up. Bottoms up. Well, I don't know about you two, but I'm going to have a drink. <laughs> Here we are. Mrs. Nochte, what a day you've had. Now, if I'm any judge of character, you'll be in need of a stiff one. You can read me like a book. Yes, and I always like to peep at the end before I start. <laughs> I believe you're trying to get me tiddly. I am if I can find it. <laughs> ahem. Ahem, ahem. Uh, 
Will you be requiring us any further this evening, sir? Oh, forgive me. The writers had quite forgotten you were here. <laughs> what would you... What would you chaps say to a couple of large teachers? We cannot see the blackboard. <laughs> now, I'd like to propose a toast to the ladies. Okay. <laughs> right, now we're all in here. I... I'd like to sing a little song. Best acoustics in the big hoops. Is the band here? Cubicle three. This number I'd like to do for you now is The Tide is High. Not, in fact, the version by Blondie, but the modern version by none other than Atomic Kitten, ladies and gentlemen. So, band, hit it! The tide is high, but I'm holding on. I'm going to be your number one. I'm not the kind of girl who gives up just like that. Oh no, the tide is high, but I'm holding on. I'm going to be your number one. Number one. Number one. Every time that I get the feeling you give me something to believe in Every time that I got you near me, I know the way I want it to be But you know I'm going to take my chance now, I'm going to make it happen somehow And you know that I can take the pressure, a woman's pain is a lifetime pleasure Tide is high, but I'm holding on, I'm going to be a number one Number one, no. The lad looked very happy when we left. Uh, well, he's always glad to see the back of us. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, Dougal, hmm? did you notice how neat the graffiti was in that lady's? Uh, it would be. They've got both hands free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never thought of that. <laughs> Often heard it, but never thought of it. <laughs> Oh, well, here's my front door. What the hell's it doing out here? <laughs> we'll worry about that in the morning. I'm going in. Good night. Good night. You'll have had your tea. The doings of Hamish and Dougal were written and performed by Barry Cryer and Graham Garden with Alison Stedman as Mrs. Nocky and Jeremy Hardy as the Laird. The music was arranged by John Garden and performed by Ross Stephen, Francis Dawling, Scott Hammond and Pete Rosser. The producer was John Naismith. <laughs> <laughs>